All right, hey guys, Jamie here. And in this video, I, uh, I always struggle with um, hold down uh, things on the CNC machine. Um, like for instance, this, this board here is, is kind of warped. And so I really want to hold it down on the corners with, with something like this clamp. Um, but I don't want to keep putting a bunch of holes in my surface. Um, it just it eats it up, it chews it up, and there's all, already a bunch of holes. I mean, it makes me want to resurface it all the time. Um, and so what I want to try to do is make something with some dowels that fit inside my, inside my dog holes um, that I can attach this onto the end. And so I should be able to just put this in the dog hole and clamp it down, and the pressure from clamping it down should put some torque on the dog hole this way and, and keep it in place. So this is a, an idea that I just had while I'm trying to make this inlay uh, here. And, uh, and so I'm gonna try it out. So what I need to do is I need to cut, I need to cut some of these dowels at a certain length and then I need to cut like a block. I don't wanna go like a two by four, um, but I need to make a block that I can screw this into and then also make a hole that I can put this into and and glue it and maybe screw it from the end or something um, it's just something that's uh, nice and sturdy and so that's what we're uh, that's what we're gonna do right now I'm gonna cut some of these at, I'm just gonna guess here I want it to go all the way through but it doesn't have to go further than uh, you know too too deep because it's just a waste of space down here um, and so I'm gonna go right about there which should be inch and a half so it's almost an inch and a half I also need it to go into the board a little bit so if I go with a, a quarter inch board maybe or maybe a half inch board half inch board might be good um, this uh, this has some play, so I can adjust the screw to hold things down at different thicknesses. Um, so I'm hoping maybe half inch will be good. So a half inch for that, and an inch for the hole. So I'm going to cut these at two inches, and uh, that should leave just a little bit sticking out through the bottom, but not too bad. So let's set up the bandsaw and just knock uh, knock four of these out real quick. The thing you have to be careful about um, cutting round stuff on the bandsaw, okay? Um, when that bandsaw blade is coming down, it, it's going to try to spin this. So if you don't have the grip of death on the stick, um, chances are really good it's going to spin out of your hands and then just chew itself up. The, the nice thing about the bandsaw is as long as you keep your hands away from the blade, you should be really good. I mean, you should be okay as far as safety goes. Um, but it's no good to have something ripped out of your hands while you're trying to cut it. So uh, have your grip of death on here when you're cutting these things. Alright, so there's four, and they fit, they're, they're not snug, they're not hard to put in, they're, they're a little loose, um, and I think that's exactly what I want, because I want to just be able to plop them in, and then, uh, alright, so there's my four little pieces, now I need to find some wood to make the blocks out of, and that has to be at least 
this wide. So I'll probably cut down some wood as well. These are an inch and a half by an inch and a half exactly. So looking in my stock pile of wood here, find some find some wood that's about half inch and I'd like it to be nice and hard I suppose I could make it like out of red oak a piece of this red oak it's super hard this would be nice and last nice and long I've actually got a piece here that's about the right width so um, let's, uh, let's chop this down and make them out of this. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is, is rip this thing down to about half an inch. Um, three quarter of an inch is gonna be too much for those little clamps to extend. And, uh, and I could probably put bigger screws in that, but um, I think I'm just gonna rip this down to half an inch instead. And that's why we have a bandsaw, right? I mean, uh, Go half inch. So I've got three quarter inch Forrester bit. All right, let's make some holes. This is pretty hard wood, so I'm gonna go that far. I think I will leave, I will leave a spot free for me to, to maybe put a screw in. But uh, that's gonna work good.
right, so now I've got little holes. And then I'm going to glue and pound those dowels in there. Let's get to that. good so I think part of the problem is my um, the ends of my dowels aren't 100% straight but that's uh, that's probably okay I don't think it matters I'll put some glue in all of these and then I'll wipe it around in all of these I guess I'll try to pick the straightest side. That'll be good. That'll be good. Alright, so there's my little homemade dog, basically. this out just a little bit more. Let me put the punch on it first. Makes it a little bit easier locating. I'm still waiting for this glue to dry, um, so I don't want to stress it right now. Um,
Alright. Alright, so here we are taking a look at the uh, the clamps. Uh, I think the, the glue is dry enough anyway. Um, so the uh, clamp will go in the dog hole and then just clamp it down. In this particular instance I've got a, a piece of quarter inch uh, MDF underneath to help put some tension on it. Um, and uh, it probably needs to be a little bit longer um, or I need another piece so I could probably use something like Use this piece instead. That way the clamp is biting down on the Okay, so you just push it down, snaps into place. And I mean it is I can move it a little bit, but it's not really going anywhere. Alright, so that is it for the clamp idea. I'm actually uh, 3D printing um, some anyway to try out um, and we'll see how how those work and if these don't last um, because I break them then uh, then I'll use the 3d printed ones all right so let's get back to all right so that's it for this video quick uh, bench dog clamp deal that you can make yourself with some dowels and uh, some of these clamps you get from Woodcraft or Wood River all right, thanks for watching.